The first step is to carefully examine the front and back of the baseball card. Take note of any distinctive identifying features of the player such as their uniform number, team logo, pose, and facial features. Carefully read the text on the front and back for clues to determine the year, brand, and set that the card is from. The brand will help narrow down whether it is from Topps, Flair, Donruss, etc. Once you have as many identifying details as possible, it's time to start researching pricing guides and condition grading sites. The three main sites used for researching baseball card values are Beckett, PSA, and eBay. Beckett produces annual baseball card price guides that are available both in print and online. Their guides provide average sold prices for cards in different grades of condition from poor to mint. PSA is the leading service for grading the condition and authenticity of cards on a 1 to 10 scale. On their website you can look up population reports showing how many of a certain card have been graded at each level. eBay is an excellent resource for baseball card research as well. On eBay, you can perform an advanced search specifying the card brand, year, player, and other details you noted from examining the front and back of the card. This will pull up recent sales of that exact card to see actual prices people are paying. It's a good idea to search for recently sold listings within the past six months to a year to get the most accurate pricing data. When reviewing eBay sales, pay attention to the condition grade and focus more on prices for cards matching the condition of the one you have. After reviewing pricing guides and recent eBay sales, you'll have a general price range idea for your card in its current condition. However, there are a few other factors that could impact the value. If the card is in particularly high grade for its age, such as mint, it may be worth substantially more. Likewise if the card features a rookie year, milestone stat, or important moment for that player. Conversely, flaws could significantly reduce the value. Occasionally vintage cards from the 1910s 1950s may contain pre-war gum or tobacco stains that also impact grading and price. At this point, it's a good idea to join discussion forums and groups centered around your player, team, or card brand. Post detailed pictures of the front and back of the card asking for condition grade estimates and value opinions from experienced collectors. Be sure to provide all the details about the card that you found through your initial research. The community feedback can help corroborate or refine your initial value estimate. Common discussion sites include sports card forums, blowout cards forum, and specific hobby brand forums like Tops, Upper Deck, etc. If you want to fully verify the authenticity, grade, and potential value of high-end vintage cards, the next step would be to submit the card to a professional grading service like PSA, SGC, or BGS. They will expertly examine, encapsulate, and assign an official grade backed by a certificate of authenticity. This process does involve submitting the card and waiting potentially months depending on current turnaround times. However, for valuable vintage cards, this grading certification could substantially increase the sale price to serious collectors. Professionally graded cards also have more transparent resale value with established market data available on their websites. Once you've done thorough research, discussed with collectors, and potentially had the card graded, you will have a well-informed idea of its likely market value in its current state. From there, you can decide the best strategy going forward whether to hold, incorporate in a larger collection, or perhaps list on eBay or another online marketplace. Selling to a local card shop may get cash in hand quicker but often at a substantially lower price than could be achieved through diligent online research and marketing to serious collectors. With patience and by following these detailed steps, any collector can learn how to properly look up baseball cards to understand their history, grading, authenticity, and estimated market value. Thorough research up front pays dividends whether looking to verify a potential valuable find or gain knowledge to enjoy the card itself as part of one's collection. Going through this process is very rewarding for any baseball fan looking to learn more about their pieces of history.